This is Breaking News. I'm your host, the Snack Gladiator. And today, I'm going to be reviewing a special snack. That's right, the Gladiator is heading back into the arena. I'm reviewing another FYE exclusive. This is an Avatar The Last Airbender themed snack. It is the Jasmine Dragon Tea House. Uh, this is a, the uh, Bubble Milk Tea Mochi set. So essentially it comes with uh, eight pieces of mochi. And uh, mochi is basically a uh, rice cake dessert. Um, sometimes it's just the rice cake itself, but oftentimes it has different fillings in it. And it can have a red bean paste. Like this one has uh, this uh, milk tea filling. It can also have durian, many different flavors. And for those of you who don't know, Avatar The Last Airbender was a popular series and still is very much, has a huge following on Nickelodeon. I believe they're uh, actually making some movies now that are coming out in a couple years. Uh, and in the show, uh, Uncle Iroh is sort of a this wise, kind mentor character to um, one of the main characters in the series, Prince Zuko, who was exiled from his homeland by his father. And throughout the series, Iroh acts very much as a father figure to him. Um, so he's a very, very well beloved character from the series, uh, very wise and kind. And throughout the series, one of the running gags is his passion and love for a board game called Pai Show and for tea. So it's very fitting that they uh, put his image in a lot of uh, tea related merchandise uh, when it comes to this series. I've seen uh, tea sets, um, they actually sold a Jasmine Dragon branded uh, tea, I believe it's uh, green tea, and now they have this uh, mochi treat. So the box itself is really kind of nice, I really like the presentation of it. Um, this was $9.99 at uh, FYE, as I mentioned it is an FYE exclusive product. Uh, they also have a few other um, Avatar The Last Airbender and sort of Jasmine Dragon themed products to try as well. As I, as I mentioned, they have a tea kettle and tea set. I think a ramen bowl, uh, some kind of, I think I've seen like an apron, a kitchen apron, as well as a green tea uh, set. It's all kind of branded with this Jasmine Dragon type of branding. Uh, just a quick rundown of the nutrition facts. The serving size is one piece. It comes with eight pieces. I said one piece. Uh, it has 126 calories per uh, mochi, and it has a total of 7 grams of sugar. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this box, even though it looks too nice to open. But here we go. Okay, so we got the box open here, and this is what you see inside. We got 8 pieces of mochi. Each of them comes in a little uh, paper liner, and usually mochi is coated in this... Uh, a little bit of uh, rice flour just to keep it from sticking so much. And we'll go ahead and open it up. And thanks to the power of jump cut technology, I have opened the tray effortlessly. So I'm going to take this out here. Once again, here's a look at the uh, eight pieces of mochi. They're slightly um, kind of a standard looking mochi. You can see a little bit of the filling in it. It's like a the brown uh, bubble tea filling through it, slightly translucent. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. And let's give it a sniff. It smells really good. I already picked up a whiff of it. it actually smells very much like a bubble tea. Um, for those of you who have had the opportunity to try it, that smells really, really good. So texture-wise, it's uh, what you would expect from mochi. It's kind of a uh, squishy, you know, I'm sure it's fairly sticky. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a bite and uh, let's see how it tastes. So, Snack Gladiator versus Mochi. Let's go. Hmm. I don't know if I've said this before, but you really do wanna cover all 9,000 taste buds, if possible. Mm. Let me show you a little cross section of the mochi. See if we can get it to focus a little bit more on the mochi there and less on me. Uh, there we go. So you can see it's got this uh, 
not, it's almost like a jelly. It looks like a jelly. And it tastes very much like the uh, tapioca that you will get in bubble tea. It has a very similar texture too. It's quite good. Let me take a couple more bites and then um, we'll talk a little bit about it. You know, we'll sit down, we'll have a nice one-on-one -on -one father-son chat about this, uh, this product. Mm. Okay, all right, last bite. Okay, so what do I think of this? Well, for starters, I'm pretty impressed. I was a little bit concerned that um, I wasn't sure how long these have been on the shelves. And I was concerned that maybe the mochi was going to be a little bit stale. The consistency was going to be off. But I have to say that those concerns are completely unwarranted. At least the box that I got tastes really good, really fresh. Texture is on point. Uh, it's nice and chewy and just exactly what I expected uh, from mochi. Uh, the taste wise, it's very, very uh, reminiscent, as I mentioned, of the little tapioca pearls that you get in bubble tea. If you've never had it, you're definitely missing out. Although I know some people don't care for the tapioca in it, but that, that's okay. That's okay. Snack Gladiator understands that uh, there's a variety of tastes out there. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this. It's not overly sweet either, which is good. Sometimes um, certain types of mochi fillings can be a little bit, a um, little bit excessively sweet to the point where maybe you just want to have one and that's about it but i could see myself having two or three of these in a sitting no problem maybe even more not that uh it's probably the best idea but it tastes very very good i have to say i'm impressed with this product i'm glad i picked it up so yeah it's a little bit expensive at ten dollars for eight so you know it's a it's a fair amount but in general mochi is depending on the brand and where you get it it's not always the cheapest uh, snack but it's still, I think, worth the money uh, for an occasional treat. And I really like the whole Avatar branding as well. The box is really nice. I almost didn't want to open it because the box is, it has this really, really nice uh, presentation to it. I don't know if I show it on the side. I got the uh, different symbols there. You have the Air Nomads, Fire Nation, Earth Kingdom, and Water Tribe symbols. So just a, just a nice product and sort of, a, sort of meta. You can imagine that, again, if you were in the universe in the Avatar universe, and you stop by the Jasmine Dragon, maybe you would have a couple of these with uh, some of Iroh's uh, tea. So, what am I going to give this from A to F? Just like we're back in school, I'm going to give these. Uh, I'll give these an A minus. I think they're quite good. I was definitely uh, impressed by them. Again, I was a little bit concerned that, because I think these, you know, obviously FYE is not a grocery store, so I wasn't sure how fresh the mochi was going to be, or if the texture is going to be a little bit off, maybe from being on the shelves in a while. Uh, but it was, it tasted really good texture wise, um, flavor wise, everything on point. And uh, I was really impressed with these. I would definitely recommend picking them up, especially if you're a fan of Avatar The Last Airbender. If you've never watched it, I highly, highly recommend you watch it. It's one of my favorite shows of all time, super rewatchable. And uh, it has a huge fan base to this day for a reason. Uh, and they're always uh, including, they're making more comics and expanding the universe. You can think of it like the uh, the Star Wars expanded universe. Really recommend you check it out if you haven't. Um, so A minus, that's what I'm giving this. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, the Snack Gladiator. Have a great day. Bye. Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Only the Snack Gladiator to consume every kind of snack imaginable. But when the world needed him most, he vanished.